I'm going to back that up a little bit, guys. Today's goal of this script session is to put out a video and come up with a script and framework for the most relevant thing on people's minds right now, which we just did a survey from you guys. And that is, is now a good time to buy or what's the market like or why should I buy if the interest rates are high right now? It pretty much has to do with what's happening in the market, right? And this is something that you're going to get all across the board. If you're meeting with buyers and sellers right now, you're going to get this over and over. So this, this script training and this video that we're going to make, it serves two purposes. The first purpose is you put it out there and it educates your audience on what's happening, right? It edu educates your audience on what's happening. It fills them in. It keeps them up to date and it positions you as the person with the knowledge. That's, that's the first purpose of this video. That's what it serves. The second purpose of this video is that by us going through this in detail and coming up with that framework and recording the video, we are now practicing the script that we're gonna encounter all the time because we're gonna encounter the scenario going forward when you talk to any client out there, right? That's at the back of everyone's mind. Is it a good time to buy? Rates are higher. Is it a good time to buy? Market's gonna crash. Is it a good time to buy? Should I buy? So if you're not practicing this, right? You're not gonna come off confident. So by us going through this, it helps you market yourself and brand yourself as the knowledgeable expert in your area amongst your audience. And number two is it gives you the practice and the know-how of how to answer this question the next time somebody asks you, right? When you book a Zillow Flex or you go on a listing appointment or whatever it might be, trust me, this conversation is going to come up. When you're doing your follow-up calls, this conversation is going to come up, right? So we need to know how to answer this. We need to know how to address this, right? So let's walk through it. Yesterday, I gave you guys a little example of breaking down the numbers. And I want to be able to break down the numbers with you guys and, and make sure you guys understand how to break down the numbers. And I'm going to pull up the whiteboard here and we'll go ahead and type some stuff. Give me one quick second. Okay, let me share my screen. All right, so we're gonna go through the framework of this video. Can you guys see my screen? You guys can see the whiteboard here? Okay, so is it, let me go ahead and put this on here. Is it a good time to buy? even though the interest rates are higher. Right, that's the topic right there. Is it a good time to buy even though the interest rates are higher? So what I'm gonna start my video off is I'm gonna go just straight into this thing, right? So your topic, or your hook. Hey guys, is it a good time to buy even though the interest rates are higher, right? Or hey guys, if you're watching the news, the interest rates are higher. Is it a good time to buy a home with the state of the market right now? That's what's on people's minds. Boom, and then I'm gonna give you the meat and potatoes, right? So this is your intro slash topic slash hook. So when we're looking at people's, at, let's break this down, guys. And I, I want some feedback from you guys to see if it's a good time to buy. What, what are the points that we should be looking at, right? What are the main things that we should assess to see if it is a good time for you to buy? Uh, someone raise their hand and I'll call on you. Kimmy, unmute yourself. Um. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. 
Um, yes, it's a good time to buy because sellers are willing now to do the um, pay for the buy down on the rates. Okay. So sellers are willing to negotiate, right? Yes. Negotiate and you can get better price and terms. What else guys? If someone is thinking of buying right now and they're trying to figure out if it's a good time to buy, what's something that they should consider right now? What's something that should go into their thought process or planning? Lily. Less competition. Less competition. All right, what else? What else do we got? Lower prices. Yeah, lower price. That was the second one. Better price in terms, right? Better or we'll say lower. Lower price, better terms compared to, right, a year ago plus, right? Six months ago plus. What else, guys? What's something else? Like if someone's going to buy a house, what should they be thinking? Like uh, what should be in their planning process, right? So you just buy a house just because or why should you buy a house right now? What makes it a good time to buy? Someone raise their hand. Like tax benefits. Tax benefits, right? Okay. Well, equity. Equity. Yep. More loan programs. Equity loan programs. Higher loan limit. Limits, right? Increased. One of the things that we're missing here that I'm not seeing is what are your long-term goals, right? Like what's your long-term goal, right? To decide if it's a good time to buy, it really depends on what your long-term goals are, right? Because if you're in this for the long haul, then yeah, over time, real estate is going to be a, a, a performing asset, right? It'll grow over time. It's historically always grown, right? So I think to establish if it's, some, if it's a good time to buy for someone, we need to figure out what's your long-term game plan, right? Because these are all like benefits of buying right now, which is great, but the, at the core of it, is what's your long-term plan? I, I think you're right, Gigi. I think a lot of the things that people are saying are the benefits of purchasing a property. I think it needs to go back one step further that we're all missing is affordability, right? Is do we have the DIC? Are we capable of purchasing a property in order to get these benefits? None of these benefits don't mean nothing if they can't afford it, right? So it goes back to one step back, which is DIC. Yep. Um, because what a lot of people are saying is this, right? A lot of people that are making videos and putting out content, like, yeah, it's a good time to buy, buy the, you know, what is it? Marry the home, date the rate, um, you know, sellers are willing to negotiate, you get a better deal, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, even if you get a better deal, you still have to be able to afford the home, right? It doesn't matter if you're getting the home at a discount, you still have to be able to afford the home and it still has to make sense in your long-term game plan. Right. And you have to compare, like, do I rent or do I buy? Right. So if you're not addressing someone's long term plan and asking that question, then I think you're going to miss them. Right. When you start throwing out all these benefits. Because if my long term plan is not to live here for a long time or I plan to move in two years and you start throwing all these benefits, buy, buy, buy then that doesn't, it kind of shoots that all down, right? It shoots that, shoots it down, right? All those things that you just said. So I think addressing what someone's long-term plan is, is the core of it. And then everything else, the benefits of buying and all those things. Yeah. You know, and buying right now, those all come into play. So if someone's looking to buy and sell like soon, probably not a good time to buy. 
right? Unless if you're an investor or a flipper or anything like that, it could be a tricky time right now because you may buy something and it may continue to go down if you're trying to turn it over quickly, right? If you're looking to buy and you're looking to stay in the area for at least, you know, five years plus, then yeah, in that time, you will realize some equity, you will have the ownership, you have all these benefits, you can lock in at a lower price, all those things. And it'll make sense in the long run, right? If you plan to be there five, 10, 15 plus years, you will see that your investment goes up, right? So anytime someone asks you, hey, is it a good time to buy? Or I have a concern with the interest rates, I would flip it right back on them. Hey, I totally understand, right? I totally understand you got this concern. I totally understand. Yeah, the rates are higher, but let me ask you this. What are your long-term plans when it comes to real estate? Like, do you plan on just buying this home and selling it next year? Or do you plan on buying this home and having this be an asset that you keep for a long time? You know, because Mr. Customer, uh, yeah, if you plan to just buy and, and not keep it for a long time, I'd probably say it's not a good time to buy. Because right now, we're, we're, the market's a little funny right now, right? But I know statistically over time, in, uh, properties have always continued to go up. And there's a lot of benefits to being a homeowner. So if you plan to be in this home for 5, 10, 15 plus years and have this be part of your real estate portfolio, then I think it's, it could be a, a good opportunity right now to get in the market because, because of the benefits, right? Because sellers are willing to negotiate. You can get a better price and better terms compared to a year ago. There's less competition. And then you get to enjoy all the tax benefits, the equity, the loan programs, and all that stuff that are available now. So do you see how I worked the long-term plan, right? And then I backed it up with all the benefits of getting in now, right? So let's walk through that dialogue real quick. Who wants to role play that with me? Like exactly like what I said, right? When I, I'm going to ask you, is it a good time to buy? You know, hey, the interest rates are high. Is it a good time to buy? I'm not sure. And then I want you to flip that on me. I want you to agree and acknowledge with me that, yeah, the market is, you know, changing. The interest rates are higher. And then I want you to flip it back on me. Let me ask you a question. What are your long-term term goals, right? And we're going we're gonna to go through this dialogue because you're going to run into this a lot right now. Who would like to volunteer? And Alessandra, let's go. And then we'll do with Kimmy next. Okay. All right, Alessandra. Um, yeah, you know what? Thanks for calling. Thanks for following up with me. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good time to buy. You know, the interest rates are high. You know, it seems like it's getting too expensive with the rates. You know, and the market might crash. So I'm just not sure if it's a good time to buy for me. And I'm thinking of just waiting and holding off. No, yes, Enrique, and I totally understand that. Um, let me, well, let me ask you this. Uh, what's your long time goal? Term okay. goal. So let's stop right there. On the acknowledge part, go a little bit more, right? Yes, Enrique, I totally understand. You're right. You know, the rates are higher right now, right? The market is changing right now. So I want you to don't like just brush over that and then get to your point. Okay. Right? Really like empathize with me. So that I can know that you really understand my concern. All right, let's try that one more time. Alessandra, I'm just not sure if I want to buy. Interest rates are high. The market might crash. I don't know if I should buy. No, Enrique, yes, I can totally understand. The interest rates are going up and the market has changed completely since last year. But let me ask you this. What's your long time, uh, long time goal term? <laughs> or wait, well, let me ask you this. What's your long time term goal? Okay, I'm gonna stop you again, right? And this is this is just for the point of the exercise, Alessandra. You're my you're my assistant right now in this exercise. So empathizing a little bit more. Yes, Enrique, totally right. You know, the market is changing, the rates are going up. I can totally understand why you would be concerned. I can totally understand why you may be hesitant and why you're not sure if you should move forward. Like milk the shit out of that part, right? Because then that gets that like. You're not just a salesperson. And even like, you got to pause, like pause real quick, right? Like pause after so that I know, like, and look me in the eye so that I know we understand each other and then say, hey, but let me ask you a question. Don't just go, yeah, Enrique, you're right. The market is higher, but let me ask you a question. You know, okay. that doesn't, remember sometimes that your tonality and your speed and you not pausing it doesn't make it as dramatic and it doesn't make it as effective, right? But when I pause and I say, you know what, Alessandra, you're right. Pause. 
the market is changing. Pause. The rates are higher. Pause. And I can totally understand why you would be concerned, Alessandra. Pause. And then pay attention to how I do my voice. But let me ask you a question. And I lean in. But let me ask you a question. What are your long-term plans when it comes to real estate? Like, where do you see yourself with owning a home and the future and all that stuff? All right. So you see the difference between speeding through it and rushing it and then slowing down and like getting the person to feel like there's a connection right here. All right. Because that, that's the part that's missing for a lot of us. Like we know what to say, but we're not delivering it effectively to create that drama and that connection and that sincerity, right? And then you end up sounding like a salesperson that's trying to hurry up and close you, right? And Alessandra, I'm picking on you because there's not, you're not, there's other people on this call that are going to benefit from this. So Alessandra, let's try that one. No, and I think that's my problem also, because I, I, I think I need to work on, because I feel like I know what to say, but I need to be more dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Dramatic. <laughs> dramatic think drama think connection think emphasis on certain words even right now as i'm saying emphasis on certain <laughs> words right i remember i made a video uh a video on social media where it's not what you say it's how you say it i agree right because think about this in other scenarios like you can tell your spouse significant other that Oh, I love you. Have a good day. Or you can say, hey, babe, I just want you to know I love you. Have a great day. <laughs> right? Like, I hope your day's awesome. Have a great day. Right? And it just does a lot more. Right? It's sincere. Right? Versus, okay, bye. Have a good day. I love you. Right? Or your kids. Right? Or your loved one. Or a friend or a family member. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Right? Or you stop and say, Hey, bro, I just want to let you know, man, I appreciate you. Like, you really helped me out back there. Like, thank you, brother. Like, I appreciate you, man. There's a lot more sincerity there. And then I can feel the, the emotional connection right there. So some of us, we need to emotionally connect with our clients so that they know that you are genuinely trying to help them. And you're not just like, all right, let me hurry up and put you in contract real quick, right? All right, Alessandra, try that again. Alessandra, I don't know if it's a good time to buy. Rates are high. I'm just uncertain. You know, we might put this on hold. No, Enrique, and I totally can understand that rates are going up. Um, I have a lot of buyers just like yourself concerned about the same um, situation, rates, um, the market changing. So I agree with you. But let me ask you this. Um, what's your line? long time goal for like owning a home all right that that was a lot better right because you slow you slowed down your voice dropped a little bit right and i was like all right i'm, I'm listening you're listening to me okay thank you alessandra okay, let's give it up for alessandra uh, kimmy let's try that with kimmy kimmy wanted to volunteer all right, Kimmy, same thing. Uh, Kimmy, I'm not sure if it's a good time to buy. Yeah, I might hold off the rates, the economy, the stock market. It's, I don't know. It's just a scary time to buy right now. <laughs> I know, Nirika. It's crazy, right? With the interest rates going up high. But I totally understand where you're coming from. But let me ask you something, Rike. What is your long-term goal with this house in the future? Like, what do you want to do? Well, I mean... I want to own a home. Like, yeah, I, I'm tired of renting. I, I want to own a house and I'm just tired of renting. You know what I mean? It's like I'm throwing money away. Totally. I get it. But do you want to rent and move in and build, you know, a, a life with your family or do you want to use as a rental property? Like, what do you want? Yeah. I want this to be a home that I can call home and raise my family and create memories. And yeah, like I've never, you know, my parents never owned the house and I'll be the first person to own a house, you know, and it's just, I'm just not sure if it's a good time right now. Well, let me help you get to that goal. And so you'd be the first time homeowner in your family. 
So what I want to do is, you know, sit down, go over some options, make sure, you know, payment works and everything like that. So that way you can afford because I don't want to put you in a house and then also you become homeless, right? So mortgage payment has to be very important. So if you're open to sitting down with me, going over some numbers as well with a lender and a realtor, how does that sound? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. You were going in for the close, right? Which is great, but you were already trying to get me with the realtor, with the lender, with the numbers, <laughs> with the, you were already, uh, you already had my loan app, right? <laughs> So when someone's concerned with the market, guys, I think we need to have a softer approach. The goal is still to book the appointment, but the way you say it, I wouldn't throw like the lender and the realtor and all that stuff. I wouldn't do that. Like I would say, hey, look, it, I don't know if it's a good time for you to buy. But what I can tell you is that if we don't sit down and at least try to go over these things and figure these things out, we won't know if it even makes sense, right? So what I would want to do is sit down with you for a strategy session. And let's look at it. Let's look at the areas you're looking in. Let's look at what the prices are doing. Let's look at what the rates are doing. Let's go over some different scenarios. Let's see what you have to work with for finances. And let's see if it even makes sense because you'll be surprised. There's a lot of programs out there right now and, and sellers are getting creative and I'm going down the benefits now, right? Like there's more options right now. There's less competition, you know? So for a lot of people, once we sit down, we may be able to find a solution that makes sense for you. I don't know if we can. This is me doing a takeaway, right? Takeaway. I don't know if I can. I don't know if it makes sense for you, but I think it would make sense for us to at least sit down for 15, 20 minutes and go, you know, map it all out and let's look at it. And then you can decide from there. Do I buy now? Do I wait? And at least you have the education to now make the best decision. Well, really quick, Enrique, if I can ask something, I think what Enrique just said is very, very powerful, guys. When you understand that a lot of salespeople um, say things on what you should be doing, that is a big, big turnoff, guys. Our business, my business changed when I was able to change, like, like it was more of a softer close, right? To be quite honest with you, 99% of the people that probably that I meet probably don't qualify, Right. But it is still my job to walk them through the process and find out together if this process is going to be right for them. So when you're looking through the sales process, I want you guys to imagine like you guys are walking hand in hand and are going to figure out if this relationship is good or not together, right? Yeah. It doesn't work when someone says, hey, listen, you're going to be with me, be with me, be with me, right? Let's find out if we're going to be with each other, right? So take that approach when it comes to sales. As opposed, as opposed to the other side, when you're just assuming it on people, things yeah. are going to change drastically. Yeah. And that's good. I like you said that the, the analogy he made was we we're going to walk hand in hand. It's not, it's not you're the target and I'm the salesperson and I'm trying to take you down. Right. It's like, no, we're going to come together. We're going to interlock hands and we're going to go check this thing out together. Right. And we're going to see if it makes sense together. I don't know if I can help you. I don't know if it even makes sense, but I want you to have the knowledge and the education to fully understand because what you're seeing on the news is not always true. Let's at least go through this process and get you the info you need. Liliana, what'd you have? Um, I, I think something that makes like, cause for example, you were going in for the clothes just like Kimmy was, but it was like your tone and the fact that you seem concerned. Um, something that like Thomas Fang said at the quarterly meeting that stuck with me is that people want to buy, but they don't want to be sold. Um, so they want, so that, that has resonated with me ever since he said that, because you both are technically trying to sell a house, right? Um, when you go directly for the close, it makes the person think like you're just trying to close them and sell them. Although Enrique was also going for the close like you emphasizing with them and like you kind of like agreeing with them and acknowledge them makes them feel valid you're technically closing them but it, they don't feel like they're being closed so I think it's also that's really important like obviously have the goal in mind knowing we'll get there but it doesn't have to be here to here it could be here 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 and eventually you get there it's still the same result but the person doesn't feel like they're being sold something even though they are yeah, you yeah. got to emphasize. I think you got you got to also figure out what close is, right? Like, what do we when we when we're on a phone conversation over the phone? What is a close, right? A, a close to me, right? 
is an appointment, right? Mm -hmm. So an appointment is a discovery, is a discover is a is a position where we can put each other, where we can discover if it's going to make sense or not. I, I'm a professional real estate agent, right? And I have no idea if if it's a good time for you guys to buy or not. So all these benefits that we write down in the list, I don't know if it's a good thing for you to buy or not, right? But what I am asking for is let me have that opportunity to right. find out if it's a great time for you to buy or not right? We're always fighting for that opportunity. We're never fighting for a close because a close will never work out, right? Yeah. There's always going to be uh, it, it, the, the process that we look at when we look at real estate is that we, we start off with the conversation that we automatically uh, sign a deal. There's a bunch of little small closes that happens in between. Right. So focus on the first close, close, which is the appointment that gets right. you into discovery mode. And at that point, just keep moving the ball forward, right? Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, great advice, guys. And see this stuff right here, guys, these are the ninja tactics that, that make you just from regular amateur salesperson to like higher level consultant, advisor. So come from a place of, I'm your advisor. I wanna consult you, right? Even though our, our, our license says real estate salesperson, I want you guys to, everyone to say this out loud. I am not a salesperson. Repeat this, please. I am not a salesperson. I am a high level consultant. One more time. I'm not a salesperson. I am a high level consultant who understands my clients' needs and figures out a solution for them. Right. And I think I'm making you say that, guys, because this is a mindset shift. Right. It's a mindset shift from close the lead, close the lead, close the lead to like, no, the clients who want to move forward, they will close. Right. But you need to get them to want to work with you or to want to talk to you by taking off your salesperson hat and just being connect with them and being real. Right. Like Liliana said yesterday in the meeting, you know, she told the guy, well, hey, well, let me ask you, like, why are you even here to look at this home? Like, there's a reason you came. Like, let's let's tackle that, right? There's a reason you're out here looking at homes, even though, you know, you're saying that you don't want to buy or the interest rate. Like, well, let's, let's address that, right? Because I want to see if we can help you, you know? And when you're able to talk to clients like that, then it's like, it's no longer you're just selling them, right? It's like, now you're trying to look out for their best interest. All right, who wants to role play this, guys? Let's try it. Let's just get a couple people. This is your chance to practice, guys. Practice on me, not on the clients. Do we? Like, you're not I'll sure, go. bro. You gonna go or? <laughs> who was that? Let's go, Dewey, and then who, who else said they would go? We'll go, Dewey, Andre, and Lauren. Okay, let's go, Dewey first. Uh, Dewey, I don't know if I want to buy. Rate the high. I don't know if I should buy right now. I might hold off. Man. Yeah, I totally understand. Uh, right now, the rate is high. Um, uh, the markets is looking a little bit funky. Um, however, um, are you? Uh, what are your long term goals? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna correct you right there, right? Remember, <laughs> stretch that first part out where you empathize with me. Yeah, Enrique. <laughs> You're right, man. You know, if the market is changing, I wouldn't say the rates are high. I would say, yeah, the rates have gone up, right? Because high is relative, right? Like high compared to what, right? Like, so, but agree, agree, acknowledge, mm -hmm. and let me know you understand. Let me know, yeah, I understand why you're concerned. You know, a lot of clients are concerned, right? So like stretch that part out a little bit, right? Milk it a little bit. All right, let's go again. Go ahead, Joey. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Enrique. Um, rate has been going up, and um, a lot of my clients are feeling the same way you are. So, um, well, let me ask you this. What oh, is stretch it out more. So I oh. totally understand why, I, you know. Yeah, I totally understand why you're not in the market right now. A lot of people are thinking the same way you are. They are taking a step back or maybe taking a pause right now um, because of the current market. and 
all of this could be from looking into the news or hearing from other people. I totally understand. However, let me ask you this. What are your long-term goals? Awesome. Yeah, my long-term goal is, is to eventually own a home. Okay, yeah, definitely. Your long-term goals are to eventually owning a home. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Ask me more about that. Ask me more. Why oh, okay. is that important? Yeah, why, why is that important to you? Well, Dewey, and you see, like, when you ask me why is that important to me, it gets mm -hmm. me now, like, revealing my inner feelings, right? Like, what mm -hmm. it means to me, right? It's not just buying a home. Like, it's, it's a bigger meaning to me. You know, Dewey, I never had a home that we owned growing up. You know, I come from a poor background, and... You know, my family's never owned a home. We've always rented. And so for me, like owning a home, it's, it would be a big accomplishment for me and my family, to be honest. You know, and yeah. I want to be able to give that to my kids. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I feel the same way. A lot of time owning your home, your first home can be a little bit challenging. And also it's a, a great, great and big decision. It's a, it's, it really is. Um, uh, right, right now, um, it's a big decision, uh, definitely. Uh, All right. Why should we meet, Dewey? Why should we meet? I think we should. Uh, I think we should meet because I I don't know if it makes sense for you um, uh, to get into the market right now because you know there's a lot of concern. However, it's better for us to get a better understanding of what uh, your uh, what where you're at in the market than uh, where we can sit down. I don't know if, sorry. <laughs> Can I try it one more time? Yeah, go, keep going. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if it makes sense for you, but uh, I think it's better for us to actually sit down and look over the numbers together mm -hmm. um, and actually get a better understanding of where we're at. Um, a lot of time, uh, you, you might hear stuff from the news and everywhere, and you you might be a little bit concerned about the market. Let me. Let, uh, I'm here to tell you, it's it's better for us to actually look over the numbers together in person than actually just sit back and then just hearing from other people. Uh, don't you, don't you think that would be a better choice for you, where you can actually see where um where you're. <laughs> where you uh, your uh, where your number is yeah 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 that makes sense yeah i mean okay. yeah i'm not sure the news i'm not sure if it's all true or what they're saying on the news if it is true i'm just hearing all this you know my my dad said one thing my my coworker said another thing the news says another thing i'm just yeah i, I don't know what to do right now do we yeah definitely the news uh, you you don't know what's real anymore will we agree sometimes the news is not always accurate yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, sometimes, you know, they're yeah. trying to make headlines, right? Yeah, definitely. They're trying to make headlines and it could be misleading to a lot of people. So I think it's better for us to sit down to see if this number worked for you, because I don't know if it makes sense for you. And I don't know if it's going to be right for you, but it's better for us to sit down and look over it. So when is a good time uh, we can meet to, uh, meet in over a Zoom meeting? When is a good time for you? All right, we'll stop right there. All right, let's give it up for Dewey, guys. Hey, sorry. Sorry. Dewey, um, let me give you some advice, bro. Sometimes we're looking for the script, but just think naturally what's what's logical for you to say, right? Like sometimes we're trying to like find the words, but just think like in your mind, like what's what would you naturally tell someone who's not sure? Like, hey, if I'm saying I'm not sure, then you should say, well, let's meet so we can find out if mm -hmm. you're sure or if you're not sure right like hey, sometimes um, we're looking like our mind starts going everywhere because we're nervous or we're on the spot but just think mm -hmm. if you were just talking to your friend like how would how would you say it right yeah uh, i try to assure you i try to say like hey i'm here to help i i, I could definitely uh trying to work over your concern so but i'm trying to read what you wrote earlier and i, I forgot so that's the problem. Like when you try to read too much, then you take away what naturally would come to you. Right. So read before you do it and then put that away and then just come off the top. You know what I mean? With what feels natural for that conversation. 
-hmm. you know, because sometimes we're trying to read and then we're too focused on reading and we're not really listening and thinking of, of what the other person's saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Com confidence in sales guys comes when, when, when you know, when you know the words, right? Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's really easy. I, I pretty much know every freaking script that's out there, right? But you have to apply yourself to knowing your scripts that are out there so that, so that when it comes to game time, everything just flows out. And what you'll start to figure out is you'll start to put your own tongue in it, right? You'll start to figure out your own highs. You'll start to figure out your own lows, right? Yeah. Your, your own creation at that point. So confidence is built by skills of practicing your own skills. So keep practicing, Dewey. Good job. Thank you. Good job, Dewey. Um, all right. Who was it? Andre? Andre. Let's go, Andre. Right on. Uh, hello, Enrique. This is Andre from Zillow. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, Andre. Oh, Andre. No, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, my bad. I'm going to give you the objection, and you're just going to go into your, your response, right? And Great. remember, reminder, empathize with the client, right? Empathize with them. Stretch that out. Let them know you're concerned. Pause. Slow down. Like, imagine someone told you their their you know someone died in their family would you just be like oh man sorry to hear that and then just ru rush off no you would slow down hey man i'm i'm sorry to hear that man how are you you know like you know i hope it all works out or hope hope you're doing okay you would slow down and you would empathize right so when i tell you i'm not sure if i want to buy because of the market someone just died in my family okay that's equivalent i want you to respond to me in the same empathetic manner as if I told you someone just passed away or something really tragic happened, right? Because it, I want you to channel that, right? Like, oh man, I totally understand. Like, you're gonna pause, right? You're gonna like take a second to be with them. All right, so Andre, um, yeah, I'm just not sure if I should buy right now. You know, the market's kind of crazy, the rates, you know, the news, my coworker said, don't buy. My dad said I should buy, you know, I just, I don't know, man. I just, I might just take a pause right now. Hey, man, I totally understand whether it's the cost of rent, uh, gasoline. There's a lot of things holding people back from making big purchases, such as like a home. Um, with the raising interest rates, people are concerned. Um, most of our clients have the same concerns. But when we can get the time to talk to them, we can really uh, help see them, like kind of uh, clear the path and understand what they can do to actually finance a home. Uh, there's a lot of options available that are almost like paying rent. Uh, so if you're interested, maybe one time we could uh, get together and we can have a quick consultation. I'll get you some information that allows you to make a better decision yourself. All right, all right, all right, all right. Andre, let's go, Andre, give it up. I like that, I like that. When, when you're trying to go in for the appointment, here's a little tip. Come from a place of what I recommend. What I recommend I would say those words or what I advise or what I re would recommend for you to do, right? You're basically saying, hey, we should meet for an appointment. But when you say I, what I would recommend, it's now you're saying like, I'm the consultant and I'm giving you advice, right? Or what I would advise you to do or what I would encourage you to do. There's a difference between like, hey, Andre, we should meet for an appointment, you know, and, and I'm going to find out if it makes sense for you. Or like, hey, Andre, you know what, man, I totally understand. You know, what I, what I would advise you to do or, you know, what I would recommend in this situation is we set up a time to meet and just really figure out if it even makes sense. Like there's a lot of info out there. And what I found is that once I sit down with someone and we kind of go through all the numbers and we see the different options and uh, for some clients, it does make sense. You know, for some clients, it, it may, they may have to wait. So I at least want to get you that information. So that's what I, that's what I would recommend. So when I'm recommending, that's me being a consultant. When I'm saying, hey, yeah, we should jump on an appointment, that's me being a salesperson. Yeah, see yeah, the difference then, in that. Yeah, and then, uh, you, uh, uh, and then uh, that, that, was, that was a good point, but good, I think you should also tell them what not to say, right? Like, uh, uh, would you be open? Uh, are you available? Um, when, uh, when, when would you be available? Those yeah. things should be out of the vocabulary. Right. Yeah. Are you interested? Should are never interested? be should never be in the vocabulary. Right. Because when you're saying, are you interested? You're implying that what you said may not be interesting. Right. If I just like went through this whole dialogue with you and I empathize with you and I gave you consultant level advice. Remember, we're high level consultants here. Right. I have to assume that what I said was of interest to you. 
So it's like, imagine if I gave you the best advice ever. And then at the end I go, well, are you interested in that? Then it totally like negates what I just said, right? It totally like, if uh, I gave you this great thing and then it just drops it down low. It like, it cuts me in half. So instead of saying, are you interested? Say what I would advise or what I would recommend. Here's right? what I recommend. What I would recommend, yeah. right? So let's try that again, Andre. Um, okay. Tell me about, you know, just, just scroll through it again, right? Andre, I don't know if I should buy right now. Interest rates are high. The market's changing. I don't know if this is a good time, man. Totally. I mean, your concerns are shared with the majority of the people interested in buying. Um, there's a lot happening with the market. Uh, the world has been in chaos a little bit, uh, but people are finding a way to still afford a home. And there's a lot of reliable uh, ways that could be utilized. To okay, okay. Let's stop right there. What you're doing though is you're just saying, yeah, yeah, I understand your concern, but you know, people are still buying, right? Mm -hmm. You're not fully empathizing with me. Like, don't already give me your your prescription, you know, whatever. Let me know, hey, I totally understand why you would be concerned, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're like, this, this is kind of equivalent to what you said. Yeah, Enrique, yeah, a lot of people are concerned, but you know, people are still buying, people are still finding a way to buy, people are still affording. So then it makes me feel like you're not really that in tune with my concern right totally and i'm selling you more than trying to just connect with you exactly don't sell me bro S do it slow let me know you understand and then say what i would recommend and tell me why you would recommend that right the benefits of us meeting what we're going to discover how we're going to see if it even makes sense let me know i don't know if it makes sense right all right one more time andre i don't know if i should buy it. rates are high market's crazy Totally. I mean, you know, I've, I've had to start riding my bike to work sometimes because of gas prices. Uh, but, you know, uh, I don't right, even stop, know. Stop, stop, uh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, <laughs> so look, just We're repeat putting... what I just repeat what I said, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just repeat what I told you. You don't have to make up like a whole. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it creative. You know? No, no, no. So take the creativity no. hat off. No. No. Just repeat back what okay. I told you. Right. Okay, yeah. like, Man, yeah, I, I totally understand. I totally understand. The uh, market is is changing. The rates have gone up. I totally understand mm -hmm. why you would be concerned. Many people are concerned. I totally understand. I feel you, right? Mm -hmm. Don't add in like the yeah. I've had to ride my bike. Like all those things. It's a it's a bunch of additional stuff, of additional rambling that is not going to enhance the conversation, right? So, Andre. I'm not sure if I, you know, thanks for calling. I'm not sure if now's a good time. You know, the market's crazy. The interest rates are going up. You know, my neighbor said the market's going to crash. The news said this. I just don't know if it's a good time, man. Totally understand. I mean, there's a lot going on right now. Um, the market's been rising. Uh, it's totally understandable to feel that way. Um, and then should I go forward to the... What I would recommend. What I would act, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, what I would recommend, and I don't know if I can help you, but that being said, um, you know, if we can sit down, there's a consultation and, you know, from there, we can see if this is the right choice for you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was good. You could have added a little bit more, but that was at the core. Like that was very basic. Doing that is going to be a lot better than like, yeah, the gas prices, I have to ride my bike. You know, many people are buying houses still, right? I understand you. I hear you. You know, yes, you're right. Yes, I understand. Yes, you're right. Here's what I recommend. And I like how you said, I don't know if I can help you, but here's what I recommend. And then maybe add in why you recommend that, right? Mm -hmm. So let's start with that. What I would recommend and then tell me what you recommend and then tell me why you recommend that. What I recommend uh, is maybe scheduling or not, sorry. What I recommend is scheduling a time uh, that we can talk and we can i can consult to you and let you know your options available uh for what is you know a great way to finance your your home um the reason i recommend that is there's a, there's a lot of different options available to different people and depending on your situation so if, if you want uh we can get some things uh i can get some information from you and we can go ahead from there and uh, determine what's the best available option for you all right all right let's end it right there bro let's give it up for andre Keep working on that, bro. I know you're 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 brand new, bro. So I you're doing a lot better for you know than most people for being like, you know, with us in a week, man. So just keep working on that, keep refining it. Let's go, Lauren. 
Lauren, last one. Lauren, the whole spill. I don't know if I should buy. Markets up, rates are up. All right, well, thank you for sharing that with me, Enrique. And you're right. We have seen the interest rates go up. There is uncertainty in the market. And we do have a lot of clients that are kind of sharing the same sentiment that you are. Um, but let me ask you a question. What are your long-term goals when it comes to home ownership? Um, yeah, I mean, I honestly, I want to own a home one day. I've always rented. My family's always rented. And we've never owned a home in our family. So, you know, it's something that would be a big deal for us if, if, if we got a home. Right. It is a big deal. And that's an exciting prospect for sure. And why is that important to you? It's just, I want to be able to give my kids something that we can own and be able to pass it down the family and, and, you know, build, you know, equity and ownership over time. You know, I love that. Um, well, what I recommend is that we sit down for a strategy session. It's purely informational to run numbers, scenarios, and really just see if it makes sense for you. So are you available this week at XYZ time? All right, let's give it up. That was awesome. Awesome job, Lauren. Awesome job. Awesome job. Awesome job. Um, empathetic. She agreed with me. She told me, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that is a big deal, right? Like everything. It's like, to me, if I didn't know her, I'm like, yeah, dude, she gets me, right? She gets me. She gets my concern. And then the what I recommend was the soft approach, right? It wasn't the salesperson. It was the consultant. What I recommend is we do a strategy session. So remember, you can replace appointment going forward with a strategy session, right? Because everyone out there, every other agent is booking appointments. How many agents are booking strategy sessions, right? How many agents are booking uh, discovery calls, right? A quick remember, meetup. A yeah. quick meetup is what I use. Why don't we uh, get together and quickly chat? Quickly chat, right? Well. Appointment sounds like I'm coming in for an appointment because you're about to sell me something, right? Yeah. Those, Strategy those session. We... Yeah, we want to get that out of our vocabulary, right? Strategy out of our vocabulary. Session. Yeah, consultation, right? Strategy session, a quick meetup, a quick call, a quick, uh, a quick strategy session, a quick informative chat, right? Let's get like, together. A quick get together. Stuff. Okay. So remember I said we were going to make a video out of this. Give me, give me five more minutes, guys, and we're going to wrap up. Remember I said we're going to make a video out of this? We just role-played how to do the video. Because your video is now going to be like, hey, guys, uh, a lot of my clients are uncertain if they should buy a home right now, right? Because of the market, the rates, and stuff like that. And they're right. The rates are going up, right? Like, yeah, the market is changing. Yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty. If you watch the news, it's all over the place. But here's what I'm telling my clients, right? Is we got to figure out what your long-term goals are, right? Why do you want to buy a home? What's your long-term plan? And then what I usually recommend is we jump on a strategy session where we can go over all the numbers. We can go over the data. We can separate what's just news and drama and what's actually real. And we can figure out if it makes sense. Because there's a lot of people that don't even know where they stand. They just hear what's happening in the news. So I want to invite anybody out there, if you're thinking about buying or selling and you're not sure, this is where I can offer you a quick strategy session. Let's figure out if it makes sense. Let's go over the market. Let's go over the data. There's a lot of options out there and there are still people making it happen. So you see that whole script? That's your video right there, right? It's what exactly you walk through, right? Like you don't have to really change it. All you're doing is just explaining it in a perspective where like, hey, this is what a lot of my clients are saying. You're agreeing, you're empathizing. Yeah, they're right. Market is changing, right? If you're looking at the news, it's scary. It's an uncertain time. Here's what I recommend. Here's what I'm recommending to all my clients. Here's the advice that I'm giving all of my clients right now. I'm recommending we jump on a strategy session. We need to figure out what their situation is. We need to figure out what their long-term plans are. We need to separate fact from fiction we need to separate the news from the actual facts right because right now there's a huge opportunity you know for certain people and for certain people it may not make sense right so if that's you we need to get in touch right if you're one of those people that has a concern we need to get in touch 
send me a DM, whatever, we'll set something up. Do, do you mind if I say something real quick again? Right. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys with, with some meat and potato guys. This is, this what I'm about to tell you guys is the ultimate rebuttal for every question that you guys get here. This is the framework, right? And it's exactly what Enrique has been teaching, right? So uh, first off, what you wanna do is you wanna say the first name, right? So I'm gonna use Enrique. Hey, Enrique, I totally get it. If I was in your position, I'd be thinking the same exact way uh, in this crazy market. Do you mind if I recommend something? Or do you mind if I, uh, you know, you switch it up and you start to ask a question at the end? That framework works for every rebuttal that's out there. You can put any rebuttal in front of me and I can use that same framework and I can end up switching it around to where they end up, uh, uh, where not I have control, right? It, that's the, the purpose of a sales call is for me to always have control. I always have control on a sales call. Right. So I can direct the conversation which way I go. So moving forward, have that framework. Enrique, hey, listen, I totally get it. If I was in your same position, I'd be thinking the same exact way. Let me ask you this, Mr. Customer, what are your long term goals for the future and the next 5, 10, 15 years? Right. Okay. That framework right there answers every single rebuttal that you can, it can possibly think of. Right. And all you're doing is you're asking the same questions, you're uh, acknowledging their feelings, and then you're reverting them, you're, 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 you're directing them in a different direction than what their mind is actually going towards, right? Let's just say, for example, if their mind is going towards a negative point, we're saying the market is getting, sucks, the market crashes, I have the ability to turn their mind and have them go in a different direction mentally in the direction that I follow up, I finish off that sentence that with a question. Does that make sense? Does everyone understand that? Did I did I explain that? I don't know. If, I hopefully I explained that. Yeah. Right? So so the framework, guys, is acknowledge, repeat, approve, empathize, let them know you hear them, let them know you understand, let them know that's a concern. It could be anything, right? The market's too high. Hey, totally understand. You're right. The market is changing. I'm working with an agent already. Hey, I totally understand. You're working with an agent. You know, I understand. You feel committed to somebody. Hey, uh, you know. Um, I can't afford a house. Hey, I totally understand you can't afford a house, right? Like that, that's obviously a concern, right? You see how it's the same thing over and over, over and over, yeah. right? Um, you know, what's your commission? Hey, I totally understand that commission is important to you and, and you want to know, uh, you know, what the fees are. I totally understand that I would be the same way, right? Yeah. What I recommend is we meet and we'll go over that. What I recommend yeah. is we meet and we'll compare. What I recommend is we do a strategy. You see how it's the same exact thing for every single one it's the right? same framework same framework same framework right so once you understand how the framework works you can throw any rebuttal at me and i guarantee you that i would be able to answer that rebuttal yeah. right or, or or at least divert that rebuttal to where i want to lead that conversation to just with that small framework right now here's the thing that as you get better and better right uh, you start to make changes in that framework, right? Small changes. Now, let's just take my boy, uh, my boy Andre, for example, right? Did you see how he was adding certain things to the mix, right? It's, it, 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 in his eyes, he thought making it, fluffing it up sounded better, right? When you end up minimizing the words, not only do you get what you want, you have the control, you get there faster, right? That yeah. would be the difference between him and I right now. Right. So sometimes more is not better. Actually, most of the times more is not better. Less is better. Get more yeah. direct and get more intentional in the direction that you're going and, and you'll get your answers a lot quicker. Right. Yeah. Get the client, the client talking and answering the questions for you. Um, all right. Real quick, guys, this is important. Who would like to role play the video right now? The same exact thing, same exact script. You're just going to say in terms of this is what I'm recommending to my client. Instead of you saying, hey, Enrique, this is what I recommend to you. You're saying, hey, guys, this is what I'm recommending, right? A lot of my clients are having this concern. I totally get it. We understand. Yes, they're, and they are right, right? You know, but here's, these are the questions I'm asking my clients and here's what I'm recommending, right? Let's go. Volunteer real quick. Who would like to role play that video script? Mauricio, let's go, bro. Come on, man. I, I have no, my, some of my OGs don't even want to role play the video. Let's go, bro. Let's, we can't hide behind the. <clears throat> all right, remember, all right. 
Remember, here, hold on. Remember what we said when we started when we started this. We are here to work today, guys. We are here to put in the work to grow ourselves and grow our skills, right? You don't participate, you don't grow, right? Um, don't worry though, I'll call on you. You can't hide. Mauricio. Yes. Okay. Hold your phone in front of you. Hit record. All right. Video. This is going to be a rough draft, bro. You can go back okay. and, and redo it. But I want to show you guys how easy it is to now turn this into a video, right? So the script is, hey, guys, I know everyone has been, everyone knows that the interest rates have been rising, um, but there are a few benefits to that. It, 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 stretch it out a little bit. Hey, guys, hey, guys, uh, a lot of my clients, right? So, hey, guys, a lot of my clients, a lot of the people that I'm talking to right now are concerned with the market. The rates are going up. The market's changing. There's craziness in the news. You know, we don't, if there's a lot of uncertainty, right? That's my concern, right? That's the, the concern I told you. I don't know if I want to buy market, the rates, right? So stretch that out, right? Hey, I want to let you guys know, I totally get it. I totally understand. Like, yeah, it, they are right. You know, but here's the things that I'm asking my clients. Number one, what is your long-term goal? What is your long-term plan with this home, Right. If this is a short thing and you're trying to buy and sell, maybe it doesn't make sense, right? And then the other thing, what I'm recommending, right? What I recommend is we jump on a strategy session. Let's go over the data. Let's look at the numbers, right? The news is saying one thing. Let's see if it even makes sense. Because a lot of times once we sit down, we're able to break it down and see if, it make, if it's right for them. If you guys want to set up one of these strategy sessions, please reach out to me. All right. That's, that's basically it. That's the video. Yeah. I want you to now role play. Let me try it. Let me try it. <clears throat> hey, folks. Marizu here. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of stuff going on with my clients. Everyone has pretty much the same concern. Uh, and it, has, uh, it is based on interest rates, the market shifting, things like that. And I completely understand, right? We're all going through this together. This other part. <laughs> These are the questions that I'm asking my clients. And this is what oh, I'm recommending. And these are the questions that I'm asking all of my clients, right? What is important to you, right? If it's a short-term thing, if you want to buy now and sell in about a year or so, probably doesn't make sense. But what I do recommend to everyone is that we get together, jump on a quick strategy session um, to see what the numbers look like and see if it does make sense for you guys. Yeah, plain and simple, right? You could have gone into a little a little bit more, right? Because there's a lot of benefits right now. We're seeing, you know, yeah. better price, better terms, less competition, all those things we wrote in the chat. But at the very, at the very minimum, bro, that was a, that could have been a solid video right there. Good rough draft. Good rough draft, right? Tweak it, add a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I recommend, right? I recommend you jump on a strategy session, hopefully with me or with a qualified agent to really see if it makes sense for you. Because right now, there are some people that it makes sense to buy and there are a lot of benefits right now, right? There's less competition. There's less offers on homes, right? There's more inventory. We're negotiating better price and better terms, but it may not make sense for everyone. This is why it's important to jump on a strategy session where we can go over all the data and see if it makes sense for your situation, right? So don't just listen to the news. Make sure you talk to a qualified professional. Let me know if you need some help with that. Boom, all right? One yeah. more time, Mauricio. Let's try one more time. <laughs> All right. I'm terrible when I'm on the spot, man. But well, remember, you're going to be on the spot when you meet a client at an open house. You're going to be on the spot when you meet a client on the Zillow Flex call when you go show them a property. You're going to be on the spot when you jump on a buyer consultation. You're going to be on the spot when you jump on a listing appointment. So if you can't do it in front of people that you know that you're comfortable with, bro, how are you going to be when it's time to meet a stranger, right? So this is right now, like, you got to own, you know, and this is message for everyone. You got to own, like, you're a, you're a badass agent, bro. You've been doing this for a while, right? You know your stuff. So just own that. Like, forget about everybody else. Give me a powerful video, bro. Okay. Hey, folks. Mauricio here. I've been hearing a lot of stuff going on with a lot of my clients. Everyone has pretty much the same concern. Um, interest rates have gone up right? People aren't sure whether they should buy now or maybe wait longer. Uh, my question to everyone is, what is your long-term goal, right? I think that if you're looking to buy now and sell within a year, it probably does not make sense for you to even be shopping at the moment. 
Um, but what I do advise everyone right now that is very uncertain about what they should do, and it's all up in the air, I'm advising all of my clients to jump on a quick, uh, for us to get together, have a strategy session, look at the numbers and see what does make sense for you guys. If it makes sense for you to do it now, we can definitely uh, take that further. And if it doesn't, at least you'll know, right? But I do know that there are a lot of benefits now uh, because the market has shifted. A lot of things are coming up uh, that are helping buyers now. So reach out to me and uh, let's see if we can help you guys uh, take care of that now. Sit. That's your video, bro. Were you, were you hitting record? Yeah, yeah, I recorded it. Okay. I think, I think, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. So here's the thing. That video was not perfect. Like he he paused and then he had to re-say one thing, right? Do you guys catch that? Mm -hmm. But that video was real, right? Remember, some of these like super edited ones were like, it's perfect. Like that's not real. Like that was a real conversation. So I would not edit that video, bro. I would post that video as is because that's you speaking from like, from the heart, bro. That's you actually addressing people's concern of a, of a very serious matter, right? Buying a home is a big deal. Should you buy right now or not? That's a big concern for many people. So it doesn't have to be a perfect video. It has to be a real genuine video, right? And real people, real humans stutter, fumble, you know, repeat stuff say um say and i do that all the time right the point is the message needs to be there right so if i were you bro i would trim the edges off that video or whatever and i would post that man and i would post it i would post a caption you know that kind of summarizes what the video is all about and i would get that out there and i would do videos like that all the time just being real with people just addressing the concerns because when you address people's pain points and you provide solutions that's when people see you as the go-to person right? Okay. If you're the person that solves people's problems, people always want to come to you, right? Because you're the one with the knowledge, with the tools, the resources. All right, guys, that's all I got. I know we went a little bit over, but I think this was necessary. Hopefully mm -hmm. you guys got some value out of this. I would like everybody on here to record a video just like Mauricio. I put him on the spot. He did it twice Thank for you, you guys. Got him out of his comfort zone, but I knew he grew from that moment. Take some time, go record a quick one, two minute video and go put that out there guys today. Tag me in your video and I'll reshare it as well. So we get some more views on it. All right. Let me know if you need anything. See you later.